Good morning, folks. We've got things to discuss. Earth is taking a geomagnetic storm this morning due to interplanetary shockwaves in the solar wind plasma. We've got weather on the docket as well, and a look at a star that may or may not be what it seems. First up, the sun. It was a quiet day up there. No solar flares or considerable eruptive activity. We still have a few more days until the sunspot that unleashed the super flare power blast on the far side turns around into Earth facing position. But here at Earth, Things are anything but quiet. The solar wind shows a strong disruption detected overnight, which is driving enhanced auroral activity and level two geomagnetic storms. This is stronger than was expected based on the coronagraph images and indicates a near perfect coupling of the solar wind disruption with the magnetic field of Earth. Something else. Once again, I'm noticing upper level winds on fire right now, a major short term pounding by the solar event. Even here in Colorado Springs, where we were forecast to have calm winds overnight, my house is basically shaking from the flows. Better see the experts say something about this connection in the coming days. I'd like to draw attention to a gorgeous solar feature on the north up next. A massive plasma tornado standing several Earths tall is whipping around the polar region of the sun. This solar phenomenon doesn't pose a threat to Earth, but it's a heck of a thing to see and to imagine the size of the million degree plasma vortex cycling with speeds of tens of thousands of miles per hour. Thoughts go out to those taking the winter storm right now and who have lost power with temperatures dropping and snow piling up. Stay safe out there, folks. Up next, NASA put out this precipitation extremes animation detailing how much worse both sides of the scale are getting. While they frame it under the story of global warming and climate change, it is precisely what we expect as Earth's magnetic field continues to weaken. More extreme shifts of all kinds. Lastly, folks, this is what they like to call a wolf ray star. They say it's shedding its outer layers before going supernova, but the problem is that they've never seen one of these go nova after being in this state. It's all theory. To be honest, this may be its nova event here, the ejected material in the dust production event, leaving the star behind to have more of these sub-supernova events. The nebula here contains about 10 suns worth of material. It is a big star. Don't forget to grab your tickets to Buffalo or San Diego. All other tour events are sold out and they begin this weekend. Our new e-magazine, Observer Review, comes out today, so if you've signed up, be on the lookout for that in your email. We greatly appreciate your support. Links to event tickets, the e-magazine, our new store, and more are found below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.